Oh, we are the Scottish Fuzz Little Sock Puppet Theatre, and so am I, and so is he. And as we look through the window of our advent calendar today, what should we see but us on the telly? That's right, I am the Scottish Fuzz Little Sock Puppet and that's why I'm right here at Winter Wonderland in Princess Street Gardens. Every night here at the Spiegel Tent through to January 4th, there's a show on called White Magic. And like Panto, it loves a good laugh at itself. So seasons be merry, ladies and gentlemen. I can't do it alone. I'm going to need your help to bring this wonderful, magical world of make-believe alive. <laughs> White Magic is Cabaret for Christmas. It's been put on by the same people that run the Fringe's Gilded Balloon, and if you don't have a great attention span, then it's great, because there's a whole lot of acts who've taken a turn on stage for this camp extravaganza. There's magic, sock puppets, and dance. And the headline acts are these ladies. It's Drags Alive. Nice to see you again. I think it was uh, the festival that I saw you last time. What have you been up to since then? Well, we've been very busy. We've been touring the world. We've been to London and New York. Yes, and Bath. Bath? I was Bath. Bath was fantastic, actually. There's a lot of lips thinking going, but it works for you. It doesn't work for Brittany, but it works for you guys. <laughs> so we, I think we, well, Britney does look ridiculous as well, but I think we take it to a higher level. <laughs> a lot more hair, a lot more makeup. Maybe she could take a few tips from that. I want a move child for Christmas. Big old knockers out to here. What's the highlight of Off White Magic for you? Um, I think it's the finale. I think we, we all get out there in the finale. It's quite nice. And we get to wear our pudding costumes. You yeah, have to be sent to people. Pudding costume. Yes. <laughs> yes. Everyone needs a pudding costume for Christmas, don't you think? You better watch out. You better not cry. You better not cry. Don't tell you why. Santa Claus is coming. Santa Claus is coming. Santa Claus is coming. Do you go on with the other acts that are in the, in the show as well? We do, we do. It, it, I know it sounds cheesy, but it really is like a big family. We all that does sound cheap. Yeah, it is too. <laughs> but, so is the compare. Um, no, it's, it's really, it's fantastic. It's, it's, it's such a great atmosphere, especially in the dressing room before we go on. We all just rev each other up because it is so cold and it's, you know, hard to get the adrenaline running, but um, we get there. Yeah, I just peeked into your dressing room back in the cold <coughs> cabin and it's freezing. How did you cope with that? Oh, there's a heater. Right, and the person that's just come off stage is usually quite warm, so we gather around them as well. So. Yeah, that's fine. Do you think this sort of thing is better than Panto, or is it just for a completely different audience? I think it's for a different audience. I think this is um, less for the kids and more for the, the mums and dads. Oh, do you think so? You wouldn't have thought so earlier if you'd seen the frolicking about the winter wonderland as well. <laughs> Opinion, white magic is a truly <coughs> unique and highly amusing alternative to Panto. If you can get to the Spiegel Tent, it is a rough thing to show. I wanted to see Vicky going down there. Oh, yeah. I think she's just got the best yeah. shot of the year Something there. Something about those two women, it's just not, I don't know what it is, okay, I can't put my on it. Some mothers doing some explaining to their kids this <laughs> evening. White Magic, there's no business like snow business, is on at the Spiegel Tent based in East Princess Street Gardens in Edinburgh till the 4th of January. All right. I see. That looks like a really good comedy show. It does. I think I shall buy some tickets for that right now. Yes. Buy some tickets for that right now. Right now. Buy tickets now. Now. Buy tickets. Buy tickets now. Now. Buy tickets. Buy tickets now. Can't really keep that up for very long. I know it was more creepy than persuasive. Not exactly Darren Brown, was it? <laughs>